Hey guys, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Ecogenica 215F heat pump system. It's uh, Eco Alliance's premium system. A lot of people get confused. Eco Alliance actually has two systems that they produce currently, uh, with potentially more on the way. But anyway, we've got an Ecogenica and an Eco Alliance. So this is specifically referring to an Ecogenica system, which we install mainly in New South Wales. So I'm going to, be, uh, going to be running you through all of the details of this system. So I'm going to be running you through the efficiency of the system, the space requirements that it needs. Uh, I'll be showing you what installations look like, um, the warranty, the timer settings, the noise that the system produces. And I'm also going to be comparing that to other systems as well. And we're also going to look online to see how the system compares uh, based on people's reviews of the system. So. Let's start off with the specifications. So if we go to uh, the Ecogenica manual, we can see uh, this, the sort of specs that it has. So it can run, very importantly, from negative 7 degrees up to 40 degrees. So in New South Wales, you're not really going to get any areas which are consistently below negative 7 degrees. It's going to be very, very rare. So I would say for pretty much 99.5% of the population, a heat pump would be a suitable option. Um, the second most important feature that we want to look at here is the uh, operating temperature. So it uh, is set at the factory default of 60 degrees, but that can be adjusted. And thirdly, it's got a COP of 4.8. So COP stands for coefficient of performance, and it is the most important metric by which you can measure your heat pump because that determines how efficient it is. And heat pumps, they're not, they're not all the same, so they really vary quite enormously in terms of their coefficient performance. Just to give you an example of how much they can um, differ, we've set up a uh, comparison of different heat pump coefficients of performances and also comparing other, other, um, uh, like other stats like warranty. But you can see that the COP for the split unit systems tends to be a lot bigger than the COP for the single unit systems. This is because the fan is, it's very simple, the fan is much bigger uh, and the technology behind producing split systems has been around for a lot longer, but mainly because the fan size is, is big. It looks exactly like an air conditioner because it's the exact same technology in both cases, but you have a much bigger surface area for the fan uh, with a split unit. So obviously it can be much more efficient and it can also run quieter. So we've got a CFP of 4.8 here. When you compare that to Chromogen, it's about 40% more efficient than Chromogen and you can, you can compare all the other systems. Surprisingly, this system, despite its $33 price tag, if you have an electric outdoor unit, outperforms Ream, uh, which is a $4,000 system and it also has a better warranty than that. So that's the specifications of the unit. Now we can look at uh, the actual uh, height requirements of the model. So we've got a point. Uh, 815 meter height requirement plus or minus nine uh, millimeters i think so um you you're going to want to make sure your system is under about 1.83 uh, meters uh the, the the height requirement is at least 1.83 meters so that we can put in the uh the system and install it for your property uh the width is 510 millimeters wide and for the uh, the actual aircon specs, it's 780 millimeters wide. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, wide um, or long, 780 millimeters long, 276 millimeters wide, and 545 millimeters uh, tall. So those are the specifications of the unit. This unit cannot be mounted uh, vertically; it has to be mounted horizontally, like it's shown here. So uh, let me run you through. Uh, what the system can look like when it's installed. So obviously the system has a bunch of specifications and depending on what you're getting, so this is actually the first photo that we've got here is the system being installed, but this is not a just a 215 liter model. This is two 215s that are combined together to uh, produce uh, hot water. So the interesting thing about uh, the 215 uh, liter Ecogenica is it can be combined into a 430 liter unit. Um, uh, to produce even more hot water. So this is great if you want to keep your uh, your hot water off peak because 430 liters is going to store more than enough hot water even if you have like a relatively large family of like seven or eight people, 430 liter off peak would be fine. 
although we don't actually recommend that you have this system off peak. Mainly the reason we recommend that is every time the, uh, the power shuts off to the system, uh, it reverts to factory settings. So you're not going to be able to time the system that the, uh, the way you want it to, or if you want to set a specific temperature, you're not going to be able to do that. So we actually recommend that you take your system off of off peak. This is also one of the reasons why if you have a uh, 215, if you have like a 300 or 400 liter system and you're like, well, I don't know if a 215 liter system is going to be enough for me, it might actually be enough. And I'll touch on this a little bit later in the video, but essentially the system produces more hot water than the tank contains every day if we swap it from off peak. And you'll still be saving money if you do that. So I'm gonna run through the calculations and everything there. Uh, but first, I'm just going to show you what these systems can look like when they're installed. So this is another, not another uh, double tank install, except here, instead of having the uh, compressors mounted on top of each other, which we do for free right now, um, they are just on the side. And here we have a couple single unit uh, systems installed. You can have a look at. So you don't actually need a lot of space. We can just put everything against the wall here. Uh, even here, there's not a lot of width, but we still managed to do the installation. Okay, so the next thing to, uh, to run through is the warranty. It's a really good warranty on this system. You get seven years on the tank and you get five years on the compressor and you get two years labor included. When you compare that to other systems, uh, other heat pumps uh, that are nowhere near our pr price point, uh, you will see that we still beat them. And that is because of the quality of our system and um, it, it's so high quality. It's a split system design, so it's, it's uh, been around for longer. Uh, we're confident giving a much longer warranty for that system. So you get seven years on the tank, five years on the compressor, and you get two years labor too. And you can see how that compares to premium systems such as Reclaim, uh, Ream, iStore, and Evo Heat. It beats, it beats everyone but Reclaim. My most common uh, concern uh, that, I re that I hear when people talk about the system or, or talk about wanting to get this system. So uh, the system is only 215 liters, correct? So it only contains 215 liters uh, of tank. It can only have that at any one time, but you have to bear in mind that the system runs 24 seven if it's set up um, in, in the preferred way. So it, the system will run 24 seven. So it actually produces more hot water than the tank contains. Now, judging by this, you can use this um, this calculator by visiting this URL, but this basic will basically shows you the um, the capacity of this unit to to provide for a household. So this is a household where people have ten showers every day, uh, and they, obviously they, they wash their hands and they, they use the washing machine. Um, although you know you could probably put a few more loads in the, in the washing machine if you want. Okay. 30, you know, you, you can play around with this calculator a little bit to see uh, how this would work for your specific home. But yeah, as you can see, this is a 215 liter system and it is producing 530 liters of hot water a day and the system is never running out base, based on this use, uh, these usage patterns. So it's a 215 liter system, but because it's running all the time and because heat pumps are so efficient at producing hot water, uh, it's, it's actually able to uh, provide for more than the equivalent of for, for more than a 215 liter like off peak system, if that makes sense. So this 215 liter system is equivalent to a much larger system, probably a 315 uh, liter uh, off peak tank. Another question that is, is really discussed a lot is Will this save me money if I swap from off peak to on peak? And the answer is absolutely yes. So if you look at this calculator here, you can see that the electrical tariff is about 25 cents per kilowatt hour, which is pretty typical in Sydney. And the off peak is 12 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, when we compare the cost of running an off peak electric uh, system uh, yearly, uh, in this example, it's $641. When you swap to an Ecogenica heat pump, um, that is, uh, not that is running on 24 seven uh, time, not on off peak, uh, you still get significant savings. So this is about, well, we can do the math, 640 divided by 195. It's 3.3 .3 times cheaper, which is pretty, pretty big. 
Okay, this is a video I took of the noise that the system produces. It's right up close to the system, so obviously it's not as noisy the further away you get from the system. When people ask me about the noise, guys, it's really, it, it's an air conditioner. That's what this system is. It's just set up to heat up uh, hot water instead of the air. So it produces the same amount of noise as an aircon. Just to give you an idea, this is uh, an up close video that I've taken of a heat pump, of our heat pump, an ecogenic. So obviously it does produce noise. And hopefully you can hear what that sounds like. Ecogenica reviews. Now there is a slight caveat to these reviews. Um, there are different systems that, that have been available, so I've just looked this up online. The 260 uh, Eco Alliance uh, Dynaheat is discontinued, so when you look at the, uh, the reviews of the new system, you want to look at the 215 litre Eco Alliance system. That is what we currently produce, that's what we currently do. You can read through all of these reviews yourself to get an idea. Uh, but a lot of the negative reviews don't actually have to do with the system yourself. So if you look at this review, it's not even about the system. Uh, if you look at another one star review, it's not even about the system. It's just about, you know, installers of the system. Um, cause a lot of the companies install this system. We, we're not the only company that installed this system. So a lot of people get confused by that. Another slight caveat is a lot of people don't understand the difference between an eco Alliance, uh, Dyna heat and an eco Genica. So I'll explain that right now. And I understand why it's confusing as well, because when you look up Eco Alliance, everybody thinks Ecogenica, Eco Alliance, the same system. The real differences between them are that the Ecogenica is slightly more efficient than the Eco Alliance and it comes with a better warranty. And yet they're all lumped in under the same reviews here because for some reason there's not different um, product pages on product review. I don't know why. But yeah, so with uh, Eco Alliance, to clarify, they produce two systems right now. They produce an Eco Alliance Dynaheat. 215 liter system uh, and they produce an Ecogenica. So you can think of the Ecogenica system as the premium offering of Eco Alliance, which comes with a better warranty and more efficiency. There we go. There you go, guys. There you have it. There is a review of the Ecogenica 215F. Uh, we talked about the efficiency, the space requirements, the warranty, the timer settings, the noise that the system produces, and we also compared it to other systems in the warranty. We even checked out the reviews online. So if you have any questions about the system, about how it works, about anything like that, let me know. I'll be producing more reviews on other systems in this game as well. And uh, let me know if there's any specific content or videos that you would like to see me put out, and I will do that judiciously. Thank you very much.